Hey, Boston sports fans. I'm Elizabeth Pahoda, joined by Boston Pride defender Kaylee Fracken, who's fresh off of winning the 2021 Isabel Cup Championship. Congrats, Kaylee, on winning the title, and thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thanks so much, um, and I'm excited to talk to you. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. For those who might be wondering, what are two Boston sports teams teaming up to talk about today? The New England Revolution and Boston Pride are working together to highlight the importance of women breaking boundaries and making history with the Pride doing so in championship fashion with their newest title. Kaylee, let's start by talking about the cup. It was unquestionably a wild game with the Pride finishing with a dramatic 4-3 win over the Minnesota Whitecaps. What were your emotions when that buzzer went off and you knew that you had won the title? It was crazy. It really was. Um, the last 19.4 seconds, uh, we were waiting in a TV timeout and, you know, we were down a play or two and it was kind of is crazy. It was like looking amongst the team being like, okay, did we do this? Cause like a year later, um, we're actually going to hoist the cup, um, just because last season we never got to do it. So, um, it was kind of a whirlwind of emotions. Um, it's been kind of a crazy year. So to be able to do it in Boston at home was, was very special for our group. You mentioned that whirlwind of emotions. What was your reaction when you actually picked up the cup for the first time? Um, I sort of blacked out for like a few seconds, I'm not going to lie, but um, Jillian Dubsey, uh, our captain, uh, handed me over the cup and um, I've been in the league since day one. So in my sixth season, I have not had the chance to hoist the cup. So to be able to kind of turn around and show it to the group, um, it was really crazy. There was champagne kind of flowing in your face and I kind of blacked out for a few seconds. <laughs> It might have been your first cup with the Pride, but the Boston Pride made history being the first team in the NWHL to win the cup twice. What statement did that make? It was a big statement. Uh, this organization has made a lot of strides uh, since year one, and this, this league has as well. But uh, Boston has always pride, no, no pun intended, but it's been prideful, <laughs> been prideful in, um, you know, kind of the, the, um, the, the statement that we make on the ice and kind of how we carry ourselves in a professional manner. And we want to be a winning organization. And I think year one, they were able to do that um, with a powerhouse team. And then, you know, kind of the years after that, um, they weren't able to, to pull through on any championships. So to be able to kind of build from what we did in year four um, up until this year and, and hoist the cup doing so, um, I think really made a statement for the league and um, putting Boston kind of back on top for uh, that winning culture and that winning environment that we want to have here in Boston. It truly did make a statement to Boston as well. And you've had an opportunity to bring the Isabel Cup to the Boston Celtics, Bruins, and you're going to a Red Sox game from my understanding later this week. And hopefully a Revs match when the season officially starts. As Boston sports teams take part in celebrating your championship, how strong is the camaraderie between the sports teams in the city? It's really special. Um, I was actually just saying this to someone the other day that, you know, I don't, I don't know if any other team in the NWHL, if they were doing it in their markets, may have gotten the same camaraderie that we have had in here in Boston. I think it just speaks volumes to um, the love of, of sports around here. And um, I think it's been really uh, awesome for us, um, especially as, as players to see the other sports teams. We're the only female professional sports team here in Boston. And so to see, um, you know, your organization and every other organization kind of uh, open us or uh, embrace us with open arms and, um, you know, congratulate us for, for winning a championship. Um, it is cool. It's special. Um, I think it's something that a lot of us, I'm, I'm almost, I'm not a Boston native, but I've been here for, for a number of years now. And um, it's pretty special when you're going to these different sports, um, sports events and, you know, you're walking out of the stadium or we were walking out of the Bruins game and people are like, oh my God, Boston pride, like stop. We want to take a picture with you guys in the Isabel cup. And, you know, that's something that um, we've never really had before. So um, it, it's been really a fun experience. How strong did you feel like a celebrity in those moments? Like, were they pinch me moments? <laughs> they kind of were. I was like, oh, so this is what it feels like to be a professional athlete. No, um, it is, it is kind of, um, it is a little bit of a pinch me moment. And I know a lot of the girls were kind of like, well, especially the, the first year players were kind of like, oh, wow, this, this is pretty cool. Winning the cup twice with the Boston pride, you're living proof that women can make history with this team. How seriously do you take being a role model for young women? Very seriously. Uh, when I was growing up, I had, um, I played because I had two older brothers that played and mm -hmm. I never had 
um, really strong female role models. There definitely were females playing and I looked at players on the national team and things like that. But beyond, um, beyond that, there wasn't kind of a place where you could play after college. And um, it kind of really dawned on me when I was a sophomore in college at BU and I was like, what, what do I do after this? If I, I was with the Canadian national team at the time, but I was like, if I don't make a team, you know, am I done playing hockey? And um, I just remember uh, when I was younger, I kind of always wish I had that role model that I could look to and um, whether it was in hockey or outside of hockey and just in life to be able to kind of help me make decisions. And, and, and that's something that I, you know, take a strong pride in. I, I coach the Weymouth girls ice hockey team or um, high school hockey team. And um, those girls have been crazy fans of ours. And a lot of them had said like, you know, I want to play hockey beyond, um, beyond high school. And I want to play beyond college, maybe one day play in the NWHL. And so for me, that's really why, you know, I play and a lot of my teammates play is so we can pave the way for those young girls to, to give them a place to play um, competitively through hockey and have a goal and strive for it. And, um, you know, who knows, one day they could be in our shoes. Your team are, are truly role models for women that are looking to continue to break boundaries in sports. Switching gears a little bit, I know that you're Canadian, so you've seen the success of the Canadian women's national team with regards to soccer and also the dominance of the U.S. women's national team. How inspiring is it to see these female athletes breaking boundaries in soccer as well? It's been amazing. I mean, they are definitely role models for myself to outside of kind of the hockey game. Um, I always followed along the Canadian national team, like Christine Sinclair growing up, you know, there was always some, some really powerhouse female players kind of right, right in my area of Burnaby, British Columbia. But um, when I moved here to the U S um, you know, I saw some world cup games and I was like, Holy moly, these girls are so good. And just to see how so many pe people support um, and they're supporting, you know, the women's game, they're supporting soccer. And um, for me, um, you know, the newest sisters here, um, seeing them on the national team, being Boston players, I'm big fans of, of watching them. Um, my teammates, some of my teammates got, uh, were working out with them um, in the gym too. So to see kind of the athletes that they are and, um, you know, it, it's, it is so important that it's in all sports across the board and to see what they're doing and breaking boundaries in their sport. Um, you know, I support them. And I know when we were in the bubble, we had a lot of different, you know, WNBA, different sports kind of reach out and NWSL as well to, to reach out to support. So um, we're all in this together as female athletes um, at the professional level. So um, yeah, I'm a big fan. I was never very good at soccer, but I played and I was a sweeper, played a little outside mid, but I was never a goal scorer by any means. You're a national champion. I bet you're underselling yourself there. <laughs> not quite <laughs> Kaylee thank you so much for your time we really appreciate you speaking with us and we look forward to having you and your teammates out to a revolution game soon thank you thanks looking forward to it